What's cracking, peeps? It's the A Train coming back at you with another episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. The A Train is back to take you on another adventure. It's been a little while, but summertime is here and we got more sunlight and opportunities to get bit. So let's get at it. You know it wouldn't be the A Train if I didn't bring the big baits to you. So by depths, we got the Gira Gira 370. Uh, this is a massive glide. This thing just dwarfs over the depths 250 right here. Um, super wide glide. This thing's gonna have so much drawing power, uh, just the sheer glide alone. But um, interesting thing, something I'd never seen before on a glide. So it's got this little two metal prong right here and there's a screw on it. So that goes right under the mouth, right into the chin right there. What it is, is it acts as a bumper. So basically, any obstructions you're coming through gliding near heavy cover, it's hitting those protecting these hooks right here. So you're gonna be able to avoid a lot of obstructions with this bait. Um, this bait has three super sticky hooks on it and it's got these uh, spinners on here. So that fish can't wedge that bait into the corner of his mouth and just pin it to gain that leverage to try and throw that bait. So you got uh, free rotating hooks right there, which is great for a bait of this size, caliber, and weight. This thing weighs a little over 11 ounces. Um, it's just a humongous bait, drawing power. Make sure you have a rod that is big enough to throw this thing. Your standard swim bait rods are not gonna get it done. So make sure you got a nice powerful stick, heavy line, and this thing is gonna draw those big ones out. You're definitely gonna get bit. This next bait I fell in love with as soon as I pulled it out of the package. This is the Nichols Flapjack. So a lot of people, they like to throw behind their swim jigs, vibrating jigs. They love to throw uh, paddle tail swim baits. Um, they're great. This thing is a game changer right here. So it's almost like the profile of a fish tail. So whether you rig it horizontally, vertically, it's just a whole different look. Really, you don't just need a jig, a vibrating jig, swim jig to throw this thing. You could throw this thing by itself, buzz it across the top. It just has a whole different profile these fish aren't used to seeing. So sometimes you just gotta change it up on the fish, change the game on them. But um, that little tail, it separates a lot of commotion. It'll buzz across the surface. It's got all these little ribs and appendages. Those things are gonna help trap that water, push, disperse water, allowing that tail to just kick. Um, fishing on a small little jig head. Um, just an awesome looking bait. I'm definitely gonna be loading up on these when I'm done shooting this video. So this is definitely a bait you wanna have in your arsenal right here. Next by Jekyll, we got the Rhythm Wag Soft Jerk Bait. So here we are in two different sizes right here. But you wanna talk about the ultimate in finesse fishing right here. This is it. Got these two little split tails on there, if you could see that. But, um, First thing that came to mind was drop shotting, all your little finesse presentations, but don't hesitate to fish these things by themselves um, with very little twitches of the rod. Look how it just activates that tail, all that commotion, almost like you could fish on a little Domeki rig. Um, one thing that comes to me is I'm thinking a small scrounger will just activate that tail when those fish are heavily pressured. Just a little scrounger head right there on this bait right here is gonna get you bite after bite. You could fish after guys on these heavily pressured lakes and these lakes right now, they are getting heavily pressured. There's more and more people bass fishing right now. So now you gotta throw things these fish aren't used to, used to seeing right now. So little baits like these, you could go up behind people and just capitalize on those fish they're missing. So the rhythm baits right here, get some of those right there. Greasy too. Next by Blade Runner, we got their Flutter Spoon. So we're coming up to that time of year, it's almost summertime. And um, a, lot of, a lot of the bass are pretty much done spawning. They're starting to drift out into those summertime areas, that deeper water. All you ledge guys, this is your specialty right here. 
But when those schools start schooling up in that deeper water, uh, what better way to get them on a flutter spoon? Just the action on this thing right here, you get one fish and all of a sudden that whole entire school is fired up. And you've seen uh, guys on Bassmaster just load the boat up fish after fish with these bigger sized flutter spoons. So these mimic that, that bigger bait they have in, um, in a lot of those lakes, just bigger forage. But the action on these things, they flutter very well. Um, they definitely weigh over an ounce, so castability is great on them. Just an awesome spoon you could always cut customize them too with feather hooks if you want. But one thing I like is that swivel. I fish some flutter spoons without that swivel and the line twist you accumulate is horrendous. So they did a good job putting this together. The action on it is definitely superb. You will get bit, I promise. Next, we got some serious love by Lucky Strike over here. So first we got the Lucky Creature Bait. There is no wrong way to fish this thing. This bait has it all, everything from rib body, uh, super kicking legs right here. If you wanna run this thing with just a hook, buzz it across the surface in between lily pads, um, flip it, punch it, that, that would be the first thing I would do with it. Um, Run on the back of a jig trailer, the sky is the limit on this thing. Um, a lot of the lakes this time of year, they're getting choked up with a lot of aquatic vegetation. So what better way than to get a good sized tungsten weight, a good sized flipping hook, and just send this down into the cover right there. That's definitely my way to fish this time of year. So baits like these, give the bass a little something they haven't seen and you will get bit. Also by Lucky Strike, this is the Lucky Creature right here. So we got legs, appendages, another great flipping bait, punching bait. Um, you guys on the Delta, you guys will love this thing. Super scented, super slick, greasy. <laughs> but also another thing I thought of in this bait is I thought about putting it on one of those wobble heads right here. Uh, just that little side to side going in between uh, the rocks like a crawdad. Um, it's definitely great. And that's gonna also just activate all that kicking in the legs of this bait also right here. So just a great little bait, gonna get you a lot of bites. And when you're in those heavily pressured situations where the fish just don't wanna bite anything, Lucky Strike has the answer for that too. And this is the Lucky Finesse Worm. So just a short little worm, what I like about this thing is it's got a hollowed out tail. Um, Personally, I like to get the smallest little glass rattles and put that in there, then put that on some kind of a weighted jig head and just super light line, six, maybe eight pound test at the heaviest and just uh, hit a lot of those hot spots that um, you're going behind competitors or other anglers and just start picking off fish one at a time. Um, they stop hitting those big baits and you just got to coax them into biting basically. So these little worms right here, don't hesitate to put on a drop shot. A lot of action in these baits right here and that tail being hollowed, it's also gonna quiver at the slightest um, just movements of the rod tip. So just a great little bait, good way to just fill that live well up. So for all you inshore guys, you guys that love to fish perch, this is a bait for you. So by Gamakatsu, we got the Duramax, the sandworm, and the little sand crab right here. So just nice little saltwater baits right here. Um, you go throw these in the surf, you get bit. These things are super scented. They disperse scent so rapidly, fish could literally draw in on those scents and just come charge them ready to eat. So just good little baits and um, go whack them with these things. Last, by Shimano, we got the Convergence Rod. This is the newer edition of the Convergence Rod. So for you guys that don't wanna spend four to $600 on a rod, this rod will do everything those rods could do for you. Uh, great balance, awesome guides, real seat, cork handles, uh, hook keeper, this rod has it all. Um, you guys that don't wanna spend a lot of money, very budget friendly, you pair this with your favorite reel, it'll get the job done, I promise you. Um, this rod comes in uh, casting, spinning, and also comes in two piece also. So for you guys that just don't have a lot of room, you can put that in the back seat of your car and just have a rod on the go. So uh, by Shimano, the Convergence Rod. Thanks for tuning in and for more information on the product seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's episode, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let the A-Train know which of these products you're most pumped about. <laughs> Hang this from my ear or something, huh? Next.
I forgot. By Jackal, we got the rhythm. <laughs> so by Gamakatsu, we got the um, It's been a while.